but it is God himself that fought for David. It is God that fights your battles. It is God that will make a way for you. I don't know what it is that you are facing today, but it is only God that will make a way for you. Now maybe this is the sign that you need in your life to tell you that, you know what, am I really going on the right path? Is this friendship circle the right one? Is this relationship really the right one? And God is telling you today that he will send you signs. So what sign have you been looking for? Greetings once again and welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back. Now today we are going to be talking about how God shows you signs, right? How God can then show you different signs that you know what this person that you're with is wrong. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss when a new video pops up. Now remember guys, we're now available as well on TikTok at Sinner Saved by underscore Grace. And we're now available as well on Anchor, Spotify, as well as on Apple Podcast. And you can follow us and find us as well on that channel. Now also guys, we're now available to the podcasters. You can find us as well on YouTube at Ashley Gerera and you can find us there on that platform. Now today, as we say, we are going to be talking about the different signs that God will show you that you know what, this person that you're with is not the right one. Or maybe you are the person that God needs to show someone that you are not the right person. So before we go into it, remember guys, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell so that you do not miss once again when a new video pops up. So that is what we're going to be talking about. Now tune in to find out more. Now without wasting further time, let us take our Bibles to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 42. 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 42 and it reads as follows and Jonathan said to David go in peace for as for as much as we have sown both of us in the name of the Lord saying the Lord be between me and thee and between thy my seed and thy seed forever and he arose and departed and Jonathan went into the city now, if you're just to look back at the brief history or just a brief summary of what was going on at this point. Now, David, remember, we talked about it in the previous episode, right? And we said David had now gone to a place where then Saul came to him and he started prophesying. And even the messengers that Saul had sent started prophesying as well in that place. Now, David now had come to a point in chapter 20. David had come to a point whereby now he had said that, okay, I need to run away from this point where Saul is, right? And he ran away from that point and he went to where Jonathan was. Now, as David was speaking to Jonathan, he then came to an agreement and came to a point that, you know what? Let me rather go into the field, right? Let me go into the field. And when your father comes back, and since um, tomorrow there is going to be um, an evening or rather a gathering at the king's palace, right where people are going to come and eat and my seat is going to be empty and your father is going to ask what has happened to david right you are going to tell him that i have asked for permission to go and visit my father right in bethlehem so this is what happens and then they come up with the plan to say that if then Saul does is not looking for me if Saul is not in a hunt to look for me right we you are going to send an arrow and tell me um by sending these three arrows and tell me that okay you know what it is safe to come back or rather it is not safe for me to come back so now this is what happens and then now we come to verse 42 and we now see that jonathan is now saying to david go in peace right jonathan now tells david to say to tell him that you know what go in peace for as much as I thought that the situation was going to change, this is not the case in this instance. This is not the case. So now David then getting this message, they now combine with Jonathan and then they depart from each other. So what is the moral of the story? What are we getting from this whole um, chapter 20 that, we are, that, that we've just read? And we just read verse 42. God will send you a sign that this person 
is not the right person for you right or god will show you a sign rather that this person means no good for you they mean harm for you just like in the instance of david right we see that jonathan sent signs in the form of arrows and he sent them to david and told him that you know what do not come back for there is danger there is danger so rather do not come back but rather flee for your life and go in peace right so in your instance right you might be wondering okay god how do i know that this person is the right person for me how then do i know that okay this friendship circle that i'm in is the right um as a friendship circle that I should be in or how do I know even that you know this relationship I'm in is the right one for me and God is telling you today that he will send you signs and just like what he did with with, with David he sent the sign through Jonathan so then God can use people in your life I don't know who you have in your life but God can send people that are in your life to show you that you know what this path that you're going in is not the right one right and people might then come and tell you that you know what the path that you're going in or some people might even come to you and tell you that um the person that you're with is not the right one and in your own thinking you might think that they hate you all right and you might be thinking um no why why are they hating on me why is this thing happening to me i see it as the best thing for me but god communicates with you first before you do anything he says that here he told david that through jonathan that this was not the right thing this rather so was not was not meaning any good for him right so what is this that you're facing today god has sent people in your life if you're watching this message and you're thinking to yourself and you will be having and you've been having questions asking yourself is this really the right person for me or is this friendship circle really the right friendship circle for me god is telling you to that that he sends signs through his people through his children to tell you and to warn you before you do anything but god only does this to his people and i want you to keep this in mind he does this to his people and to his children so perhaps you are the one that needs to 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 or you are the one that someone else is praying for and they're saying you know what i'm not so sure about this person i'm not so sure whether they are the right person for me remember if you are not in alignment with god god will not make his children to be an in alignment with you for darkness does not mix with light right one has to outshine the other even in the bible it says that for one person cannot serve two masters at the same time it's either you love the one and hate the other one so this is the same instance that you probably end right and god is telling you today that make your ways right with god right god will only show you signs god will only show you signs if you are in alignment with them right god will then prevail you from going into disastrous things that will end up um causing you in the end right and causing you um a lot of uh heartache and heartbreaks and all of that so god is telling you today that he will show you a sign just like what he did with david with the arrows that jonathan sent him and told him that you know what you should go in peace because right now the situation does not favor you right so this is the message that you should take today god will send you signs through his people through his people even right now maybe this is the sign that you needed in your life to tell you that you know what am i really going on the right path is this friendship circle the right one is this relationship really the right one and god is telling you today that he will send you signs so what sign have you been looking for if this is the sign that you have been looking for take heed and listen closely for god does not allow certain things to happen without warning us first so take this sign or rather if this is the sign that you've been looking for take heed unto it and take it to god and ask him to confirm for you if this is the right sign you've been looking for so as you go in your life remember always dedicate everything to god first and remember before you do anything ask him if this is the right decision you should make for he knows best and he knows what is best for you and what will make you to prosper in the end so this is our message for today may god bless you
when you don't forgive the person that has wronged you, when you don't forgive and you say, I am going to show them what it is that I'm made of, right? The Bible tells us that God himself is not going to forgive you for your sins. So what is it that you're holding on today? 